Now, welcome back. We are returning to Iowa, first of all, but we're gonna go to Hulk Falconer? Hmm, I'm not sure. We gotta get a mission, right? Hey, kid, the uh, weirdest job came up. Well, there's not much pay in it, though. It's I could do weird, as long as it's not some other rich asshole. <laughs> Definitely not. The moisture farmers in the vents are starving. They need emergency rations. This job takes you pretty far, all the way out of Novellas. What? Really? Yeah, in a, a technical sense, at least. The vents are outside Corpsec jurisdiction and just outside the Novellas. That sounds good. Finally, a mission I can... Well, maybe I, I won't feel good about, but I feel good about doing. I feel pretty bad for seeing those people. They're below the city, actually, uh, in the maintenance frame that supports the infrastructure. And people live there? If you call it a living. They eat mold and uh, algae that grows on the steam vents. But they're free. It's a high price to pay for freedom, kid. I'll do it. Pick up the packages from Cloudpunk HQ, then I'll send you a nav point down into the vents. Okay. This is... yeah. We have to go to Lower Midtown. Because the purple would take me to a new district. Would take me to a new district. <clears throat> you gotta take a sharp left. Yeah. What if I try to go through that hole? I don't think anything happens because it's probably some kind of a force field. Yeah. <laughs> Just to keep the cars out and it's only for the train. Some jerk would try to uh, <laughs> use that as a shortcut. I don't know who would do that. Uh, that force field seems totally pointless. No one would be stupid enough to use that as a shortcut. And risk death. Are you kidding me? Or maybe even unknowingly. Just think like, oh, this is a very sweet uh, shortcut. Let me just use it. We are going away from the city? We don't like the city. Not really, Camus. We're just going through to the vents below. It won't be like home? I don't think so. Is it dangerous? We're trying to save these people from starving, Camus. I think they'll be glad to see us. It's worth the risk. Do you think this is nice food for the people? I think it's all they're getting, and I'm surprised they're getting it. I hope they like it. Me too, Camus. Well, they're gonna like it better than starving. But also, using our services, that cost them a lot. Oh, hey, who would have thought being a delivery driver is so insightful? We get to meet people, we do good causes and bad causes, and, it, and it's kind of nice. Well, I don't know if it's gonna be a balance because so far it was really bad. It was, it was very bad. I became a criminal. My record got wiped twice in one night. I barely made any money. My hover got stolen. <laughs> um. There's so much happened that I'm even struggling to remember all of that. I I've seen multiple people by well, suicide risk and 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 one person who's is about to commit suicide. And I didn't stop that. Where am I going? So this takes me to Old Town. Merrill, Waterside, Midtown, Little China. Okay, first talk to Norman, I, I guess. I'm not exactly sure about that. But... 
let's do that. Then we can continue with the main mission. I want to do the purple, then head toward the marrow. Okay, take a sharp left. Now oh, we're finally here. I just need to find the parking space. Where is it though? <laughs> oh. 2D map is not not the most useful when the game is 3D. Okay. A lot of jerks blocking the good parking slots. I'm in a hurry. Okay, we're gonna take the left, I think. And uh trying to recall where the guy is but I think it's just gonna be the the end of the street and that's it cherry pie seller guy hey Falconer this is where the guy the uh, something uh, I don't know how he's called he was standing kind of here uh, waiting for his uh, death hey I saw your bird I mean your Falcon Norman what happened? We had a disagreement. So you let him go? Let is not the word I would use. So Norman escaped? He clawed my eye. If I catch him, I will skin him. You have to be careful with wild animals. I told you, he is not a wild animal. Where did you see him? The slums. Deep in the slums. You know the part that smells like sulfur? In the low levels? Yes. Well, lower than that. Right. Time to teach that <laughs> bird a lesson. Really? Okay. You really think you can catch up to him? Good luck with that. I, I, I didn't even know what this is going to be about. But apparently we saw his bird uh, that I don't recall. Wait, am I going the right way? Went over. This is the one we gotta use. Then we're gonna help out a few starving uh, moisture farmers. How did it get so bad? Even in our times, like it's. I guess a lot of people are living here. I mean, that's what I'm not realizing. Imagine, like, putting all the world's population into one city. That's just crazy. Well, no, maybe not all the world population, but that would be insane. That would be insane, but... But even just, like, increase the population of a city, like, tenfold. How would that work? It wouldn't. And the city is clearly huge. I don't think it's a... A problem of space. We, we seem to have space. Space is not the problem. Especially because, like... Uh, like we have skyscape, sky skyscrapers that are thousands of uh, floors tall. That's not, space is not the problem, but resources. I wouldn't even say resource hoarding is the problem, because I suppose that is partially the problem, but resources itself 
are kind of could be just insufficient to deal with the population here because every everything worldwide are just uh, delivered into Nivalis at least uh, that's the impression I got this is what I've been told like not everything obviously but like this is the city where everybody comes and uh, I don't know I suppose most people wouldn't come here I mean mo mostly we have farmers and I don't know what what could be like I mean food is the most obvious thing that we have I actually I just don't know I guess we just have to watch out and uh, look for other source of information of what what is outside Nivalis like we got uh, settlements I we, we know about that and I suppose it's just mostly food like it, would you need many resources in this er in this era I guess you need so probably some mining but question is is it done by people or is it done by AI and 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 robots because I would say it's done by uh, AI most most likely do I need to repair my car seems like uh, the answer to that is uh, a very likely we got Ratsu here One memory chip. Hey, Retsu, what's up? You the delivery stooge. Yeah. I'm from Cloudpunk. I have your packages. Those are no use to me. I can't deliver to the outposts anymore. None of our vehicles work. The fuel lines froze. You should keep your engine running. Did you get that, Camus? Yes. I will keep a couple clock cycles free and monitor the temperatures. How do you live here? It's so cold. What do you care? I asked, didn't I? Whatever. Just leave the packages here. Go back to your. Can city. I help you deliver it? It's not my city. Sure it is. You took this job because you were curious, right? No, for the pay. Welcome to your poverty safari. <laughs> this is our life. I'm not even from the city. The Eastern Peninsula? Up until last week. I see. Sorry. I thought you were just another Nivali. My name's Retsu. Rania. Cora knows what you must think of the big stack. That's what we call the city down here. It's the worst place on the planet. And we cling to the bottom like barnacles. And you know what? It's a hell of a lot better down here. We made this place a kind of home. You've been here a while? Yeah, I wasn't the first, though. Old Zeke traveled out here over a hundred years ago. He set up the first moisture farm, collecting heat for his home from the vents. Folk had tried to live here before him, but he was the first to realize you couldn't live on rations alone. And you had to be ready for the chills. So what was old Zeke's secret? Zeke realized you could cultivate the algae pits for warmth when the vents cycled cool. He realized you could mill the mold dust into flour. He figured out how to cross the steam lanes with a suit made from old abandoned hovers insulation layers. I swear, they say no one alive can survive the wastelands between the cities. But if anyone could, it was Zeke. And you took his place as the boss? I'm the community leader, sure. But I'm not the longest surviving settler, not by a long shot. The elders living beyond the far rim say they knew Zeke's grandkids. Tales of Zeke surviving, thriving even out here in the vents, attracted a lot of folk that wanted to live off the grid. Away from corp security and the lights and the headaches. Everyone has headaches in the big stack, you know. I don't. You will. Everyone gets them eventually. Doesn't the air smell cleaner down here? 
Every time I breathe in, it feels like my lungs are going to freeze and shatter. Well, that is the problem right now. This is supposed to be summer. How can it be summer here? The warm season. The vent cycle between warm and cold over a predictable time period. Or at least they used to. It seems like all the maintenance systems are going mad recently. We have a saying here, Quarter provides. Well, right now all Quarter is providing is a new ice age. What do you think Quora is? Quora is everything, and all of us. Quora is the provider, and the caretaker, and the disciplinarian. Quora holds at a closed fist, and we must push out our chin. Sometimes the fist holds wood, sometimes the fist strikes us, and yet we must endure. So Quora is your... Salvation. And right now, Koda has sent us you. I'm not really religious like that. I think you have to help yourself. Be independent. I like that. You can't lecture us on independence while you live in Nivalis under the watch of the corpse. Oh my god. You said you cling like a... what did you call it? A barnacle? Hmm. Harsh and fair words, Rania. I know you have seen Cordus light, though. It glows from you. Am I wrong? Who knows? So, you want me to deliver these parcels? I would appreciate it. We really are starving. Three families. I can give the coordinates to your vehicle. Okay, I'll get going then. I'll see you on the way back. Cordus willing. Be cautious around my brethren, Rania. They live like sculptures of ice. Fragile and temporary. Okay. I'll hop out, I suppose. Not a problem. That guy's like, uh oh, don't lecture me after like lecturing me for five minutes straight. Really? I don't mind listening to your uh, rambling. But if I try to get a word then you shouldn't just shut me up. I didn't even say like he should just be like me. I just said how I thought. <laughs> hey moisture farmer. Who are you? I was sent to deliver supplies. Sent by who? Cloudpunk. I don't know who that is. You from the big stack? Get out of here. You need this. It's food. I don't need nothing from you. Retsu said... Retsu sent you? Yes, he said you should take this. What did you say? Give it here. They don't trust us very much. I bet they have their reasons, Camus. I suppose. Even if you were starving and someone gave you food, but you were living in an area where... Food was very uh, hard to get by. Hard to get. Would you accept the food? I suppose you would, because you're desperate. But at the same time, if if you're super suspicious, they might be poisoning you and taking the rest of your food or whatever you got. I mean, okay, that's that's kind of paranoid. Most people don't really kill other people. Without reason. <laughs> but. But that also means uh, if someone pulled this off, it would most likely work. I'm not even saying it's, it's poison to kill, but like, just make you ill and unable to defend what you got. I brought you supplies. Who sent you? Retsu. Well, okay then. I ain't seen no one from the stacks down here in years. Decades even. You know, maybe you can use this. You put it in the wall and it gives you a token. Or something like that. Uh, thanks. It It's just five numbers on a bit of paper. Oh my god. That's right. Thank you kindly it's for the It's the bank supplies. number, right? Now we even. Well, thank you kindly.
Okay. Last guy. Oops. People just keep praying for the AI. Praying for things to work. That's very powerless. And no one cares about these people. They're just trying to not die. And they cannot even empower themselves in any way. There's just there's no up to them. They're just trying to Hello, I'm here too. They already called me on the old CB radio and told me you were on your way. Oh. You're the talk of the town, lady. I'm just a delivery driver. Well, I don't know if anybody has said this to you before, but I'll say it now. Thank you. Uh, thanks. I mean, you're welcome. I'd get back to the city as quick as possible, lady. There's a chill coming. I can feel it in my bones. Anyone outside is gonna get charted. Go, quickly. And don't think twice about coming back here, you hear? Okay, good luck. Okay. I guess this place is not for me. Also, I'm not ready to be here. I gotta go. Parking sensors dysfunctional? Now, how do we get out? We should go and repair the car, right? Uh, that one is given. Oh, we should return to Retsu first. Um, I can see Retsu. Why is he not moving? Oh no, Camus, find us somewhere to park. The security overrides won't let me. The temperature is too low. It is not safe to land now. If you got out of the Hova, you would feel very cold. Then you'd be stuck, like the man. He's not stuck, Camus. He's gone. He can't be gone. He can't move. Dead, Camus. He's dead. Aww. Fragile and temporary. Let's go. There's nothing else we can do. Apartment upgrades unlocked bonsai tree. Okay. Oh, well, we gotta go back. I need to uh, fuel up. I am getting and a message repair request. The whole bus. Why are you getting a message request? If there's a message request, it should come to my comm. The message is addressed to the Hova. So it's someone I don't know. Patch it through, I guess. They're sending messages to my car. That's not appropriate. You gotta find the gas station. I don't know what happens if you run out of gas. I guess they would... Uh, I don't know. Uh, I guess you would spawn at the gas station. My ship had finally come in, but in this case, the ship was a battered hova. Redemption comes in all shapes and sizes, sometimes with bumps, dents, and a dime store paint job. What? Who is this? The dame wanted a name. What did I have left to lose? And yeah, nothing but my hat. I let her know that I was Huxley, what? but I uh, left off the private investigator. She'd know the deal soon enough. Um, so you're a private investigator and your name is Huxley. The dame was as sharp as my ex-wife's parting words before she left me and moved back in with her mother. She'd pegged me as a PI, but I uh, still needed her help. Maybe I could drop some bills in her pocket if she could get me back to the big stack. I think Huxley is malfunctioning. I'm closing this channel now. Please stop calling me. The dame was giving me a shoulder so cold, I was getting frostbite. <laughs> I had to sweeten the deal. I'd already mentioned the cash, but uh, no dice. Maybe I'd put it all on red and tell her about the girl I was trying to save. I mean, the dame sounded hot as ice, but Pasta's story was so sad, it would melt a diamond. Why does he talk like that? I, like I might it. actually help him if he wasn't so annoying. I've never heard so many mixed metaphors in all my... I dangled the bait in the water, but the dame wasn't buying. Without my help, Pasta was done for. When the dead corpse finished with her, God knows what would be left. Dead corpse? Is he trying to save some girl from them? 
I have located his signal. I have a nav point. We could pick him up. Should I display the nav point? Hey Huxley, if you can answer a simple question, I'll take you back up the city. Are you really a PI trying to save a girl from a debt corp? Yes, is what I wanted to say. But the dame was suspicious, and who could blame her? Here I was, some abandoned PI android stuck in the hollows with a two-bit story about trying to save some girl. In her position, I would have hit the dirt in a heartbeat. But here's the kicker, the story was true. Fine, Camus, give me an F point. We'll take him with us and drop him off on the way. That's cool. Oh, uh, yeah. We gotta fix the hover. But also, we gotta fuel the hover as well. Maybe before this mission, else we're just gonna run out of gas. Okay. Let's look at possible gas stations. So, we are heading here. Maybe we're gonna fuel, fuel up after this. Because there's no gas station on the way. But we still need to do it very near in the future. Wait, did I land in the wrong place? This is the only parking slot, apparently. There's no parking here. <sighs> also, we found a bunch of numbers. Wait, did I forget it? I definitely forgot it, but I have it on paper, right? 1C652. Uh, close it. One C six five two. Take it. Can I take it all? Six thirty two. Take it. Did I get six thirty two? I think I did. Okay. He just gave me his life savings. I suppose he was stuck in the... Well, stuck there and he had no use for it. Still. Why don't you just try to get out? I mean, he could have used that. Rare video game cartridge. A lot to pick up here. I mean, yeah, sometimes you find... Uh, items that uh, lead to talking, but most of the time, no. <laughs> most of the time, you're just finding um, effectively money or possibly items that can be used as uh, solutions, but that's not the case again. Uh, you can even, well, we, we find the electronics that was used to repair the lift, and uh, that was it. Other than that, Nothing seems to be used for uh, solving problems. We got patchwork here. Nothing to pick up, but we can talk to him. Hey, please stop. I need your help. I'm sorry, I can't. Just one moment. I know I look monstrous. No, you don't. I'm just really busy. Making deliveries. I know. That's why I need your help. They call me Patchwork. You need to call my company if you want a delivery. I can't take on jobs from people on the street. I can pay you. No one else will help me. People scream. They scream? The children are frightened. They tell stories about me. About the freak. Really? There are plenty of androids back in the Eastern Peninsula that want to wear dermis, but can't keep it in good repair. In Navalis, such a thing is seen as an abomination. Unclean. Dermis is expensive. Do you... do you ever consider just living as an android? Never. I don't feel like an android. My body feels wrong. I want to have skin, to breathe, to feel, to sweat, to touch, 
people without them recoiling. I understand. What do you want from me? I can't leave this alleyway. They run from me. Corpsec would fine me for causing a scene. I need Dermis. I can only buy from less reputable sources. You want me to buy you black market skin cells? No way. I can pay you well. As a human, it is not even illegal for you. Only androids are forbidden from buying from unofficial vendors. I'm sorry, you need to find someone else. There is no one else. I have been like this for a week. I will not live like this. I cannot. How far do I need to go? Just two blocks over. Here is the money. You can keep half. Fine. What is his name? Greppo. He stands on the corner, a thin mustache. He is hard to miss. And what is your name? I told you. They call me Patchwork. What is your name? Pete. I would like to be called Pete. I'll do what I can, Pete. Mm Mm-hmm. I can just run up with your money. Why not just give me the money to buy the part and tell me that... Here's what I can offer you today. Black sunglasses. Cool, but where's the sun? Let's, let's buy it. Thanks. It's time to make some bad purchases. I look forward to seeing you again. Can I equip these? I suppose you will need to go home to equip it. Grappo. Grappo? That's me. Keep moving, sec. What? I'm not corpse sec. <laughs> sure you ain't. I don't have anything for you. Dermis. I need it. For a friend. Oh. <laughs> the skin job found someone to come out and play? How is Batchwork Man? His name is Pete. Pete? <laughs> Who's he fooling? He's a Patchwork Man. With the wobbly jelly eyes and the flesh hanging off him like he's skin meat. What the hell is wrong with you? You know what they say about him? The patchwork man loves to see the smiles on kids' faces. That's why he wears them over his own! <laughs> Just give me the dermis. <laughs> sure, sure. Tell patchwork I said hi. That freak. Asshole. No wonder he wants to fit him better with such company. I mean, I get it, you know, imagine uh, you were human and somewhat skinned and you say like, oh, I would like some skins, please. Even if even if it didn't affect your health in any way and you were just partially skinned, uh, you would not like it. I can't believe you have to deal with that Greppo guy. Did you get the dermis? Yeah, it's just a vial with some liquid. That's right. The cells are microscopic, but they grow and renew. I'll have full human skin for a few months, at least. Then it breaks down. Can you get something more permanent? Not unless a million limbs suddenly appear in my bank account. Would you ever live as an android? Would you? I guess not. Thank you for your help. See you around, Pete. I mean, if it, you only gotta have this thing every, I don't know, let's say like three months, it doesn't seem as, as insane. I suppose. Considering that a plate of sushi is 50 bucks. I know it's an extra spending, but not completely impossible. Imagine that uh, he could afford it. Of course, uh, most people here don't have. Uh, I actually actually can't make that uh, a judgment here, but most people seem to be struggling. But I shouldn't say like, oh, 350. That's no problem. So we're gonna pick up Huxley. Still have one box it didn't pick up. Should I start with that? Then we can deal with Huxley. Okay, let's pick up the box. So 
we don't have to uh, we don't have to think about that anymore. It just okay. Uh, it's it's not even the box. It's the punch card. So we're getting closer to uh, Evelyn's quest. I don't know if we're gonna need like more punch cards than that. But you know, it would be nice to progress Evelyn's quest. Huxley, are you Huxley? The dame really came through. <clears throat> Wait, there was like a, a building falling in the distance. Why do you talk like that? Who was this bum that was questioning me? Another tin can with an attitude and too many questions. I gave him the brush off. Hey, don't talk to him like that or I'll drop you in the hollows. The dame had a point. I'd better play nice for now. I'd slip her some bills when she took me to the holocash machine. A handful of limbs should help dip this sour lemon in a little <laughs> sugar. Can you understand what he is saying? About 40% of it. The dame and the car were close. Any fool could see that. But I, I looked beyond the surface. She was a girl from out of town. Still as green as the water supplies down in the vents. You said you're a private investigator. Do you really think that's how they talk? She had an attitude, but I liked her. And a dog, too. How did he know I was... am... your dog? I guess that's what investigators do, right? There was a holocash machine up ahead, but I had to keep a real low profile. I'd give the dame my number and let her grab the cash for me. And that number would be? I gave her the digits. Five, four, two, four, four. She was a smart cookie. She'd remember them. <laughs> no. Where are we going? Just any holo cash machine? Is that a holo cash machine here? No. Uh, well, we can go to the cauldron, but there's no holo cash machine here. So we gotta go to the marrow. We can't mark it. I guess I should st st stick to the road for now. Are we there? Yeah, we are there. We gotta find parking. Uh, maybe pick up the packages uh, over here. Uh, this area looks familiar. Yeah, I've definitely been here. Merchant? What you looking for? Can I get some? Whatever it is, I got it. Do you? I would like candy bars. Like, like a couple candy bars. Not too many, just about 100. Okay, that, that seems to be enough for now. Hey, come back anytime, lady. No problem. So now, I have 72 candy bars. Sweet. I could eat one of them. And this apparently gives me a speed boost. I might even uh, help with my hunger, but that's not why I bought it. I bought it so we can uh, make this exploration a little quicker, pick up stuff. Although, <laughs> I may have spent more on candy bars at this point than we're gonna find on the ground. Quest Site 5. More parts. Those are about like 30. I do like to pick up stuff. It's just like, oh, I left them on the ground. And not all of them, not everything on the ground is just money. But something is just like, like rare videotapes, for example. That's useful, so. I don't know, I just have this thing of like, oh, I want to pick it up. But, I know that it's, it's just not worth that much.
Am I still faster? This team's still slow. Well, there's another package here. Do you just give me your account? I'm like, oh, uh, no problem, just access my account. Very trusting people. Very, very trusting people. Okay, that's a punch card for Avalon. Uh, we need three more of those, so I suppose, yeah, I mean, come on. She's even moving weird. I don't know why they chose to go with this camera. Didn't they have to somewhat set this up? Why don't I just have free camera? I'm still struggling to understand that. Maybe it wouldn't look great in all, all, all circumstances. You gotta wait for the left. Why are you there, mumble guy? Follow cash, that's what I want! Okay, uh, five, two... No. What? Five, four... Two, four, four. We're taking all of it. All the money. Isn't that how you do I it all the time? The bill. You just see the all the money in your account like and like take it in. Now. This is a lot of money. I can drop you somewhere else if you like. Why are we helping him more? He's kind of growing on me. Hmm. The dame had a heart of gold. I asked her to drop me at my office. On the way, I'd tell her about Pashta. Maybe she'd fall for me like I'd fallen for her. I do not like this. Where is this office of yours, Huxley? We were headed towards my office in Old Town. I gave the dame a nav point to help her out. Hold on, Pashta. It won't be long now, kid. Thanks. Who is this Pashta, anyway? What happened to her? It was a story so sad it could make a bronze statue of a lawyer cry. It all started with a call. <laughs> this PI guy. <laughs> <laughs> a small time hustler called Peter Unthrink. He tended a bar downtown, but he had some bad debt. The debt corp took his cash, but when that wasn't enough, they took his daughter too. He had a record, so Corpsec wasn't gonna help him. With nowhere left to turn, he sought the help of Midtown's best cheapest P.I. So the debt corpse can abduct children now? The dame didn't realize who she was dealing with. The debt corpse had hearts blacker than my morning cup of joe. Huxley, were you always like this? Did something happen to you? The dame thought I had a screw loose. <laughs> I guess her instincts were good. Truth was, there was a time when I sounded just like every other humdrum android out there. Now, I'd played a role so well I was stuck in it. My programming was uh, messier than my accounting. Here's the kicker. I was a better investigator now than I'd ever been. Fair enough. Give me candy. Sweet. Run fast. I don't think it lasts long. But how do we get there? No, he's... How do we get to his office? Where, where's your office, Huxley? Seemingly I parked at the wrong place, but... Okay. Your office is all boarded up. Did you get fired? The dog was half right. 
I was fired, but that place was where I slept, so I, I guess I was homeless too. Eviction was the illness, but what was the cause? Probably not paying your rent. There's a note on your door. Shouldn't you read it? Who knew how hot this place was? I was sure I'd been tailed. If I stepped up to that doorway, I might get a knife in the back or a bullet in the head. I think you're being overdramatic. I'll check out the note. What if it is not safe? I'll take my chances. I want to see what this note says. Oh, come on. Whoa, what? The car is being a little bit weird. At least I know where to go. I guess I don't want to do drugs. Now... Wait, what? No! I thought... I thought I was onto something. How did we get there? Get back. We got away from the left. Uh, go up. And it's really hard to tell where we're we supposed to go to Huxley's office. Because on the map, apparently it's just out of nowhere. And there's like one left. I guess that's what we have to find it. Uh, find if, if we can. Do I take my hoba? Or do we just make a run for to the right and hope it's gonna be fine? Okay, I mean I think it's gonna be here. Yeah, we got the left here. It's gotta be it, the one. Sign up now, warrior. Oh okay. Here we go. Okay, I can see the note. It says, go to the blue chewy jazz bar and ask for the smoking man. We're not taking him there too, are we? I couldn't ask the dame for much more. She'd already stuck her neck out for me. We can drop him off at the bar. It's close by. Well, he gave me his life savings. I don't even know why. I mean, it seems like a lot, lot for just some delivery. We're making a lot of money here, but I'm also getting concerned for all these people. That one guy literally gave me everything he had ever had, and Soon decided to commit suicide. Chewy jazz bar. It was a dive, but it was the kind of place you'd go for answers. Who had left me that note? Who was the smoking man? And where would I... We have an incoming call. Control? No. It is for Huxley. I knew who was calling. This would be bad. Put it through, I guess. What in chorus name you think you're doing, you pile of junk? Where have you been? The client was mad, and with good reason. He'd paid good money, but I'd been stuck. Is this android just broken? It could be. Could be the android is just broken. And, uh, who knows? I guess we're gonna find out. Down in the hollows, following a lead. The lead went cold, and I was trapped down there with no comm signal and no cash. 
You wasted my money and my time. If you don't find my daughter, I'm infecting you with a logic virus. I have hacker friends. Hey, what the hell? I don't know who you are, but you better leave this idiot to do his job. I was gonna save that girl, but not because of the threats. Truth was, I was the only one searching for her. 24 hours, then your time's up. I want my daughter back, but if she's gone, she's gone. I'll live with that. But what I won't stand for is some android stealing my money. Get to work. He hung up. We're close to the bar. Seriously? I hope the would come with me. Was that too much to ask? Uh, yes. I'll come to the entrance, but after that, we need to get back to work. And if Control calls with another job at any point, you're on your own, Huxley. The offer was as fair as the spin of a roulette wheel. I rolled the dice and took a gamble. You don't use dice in roulette. I know, Camus. Just let it go. Blue tree. Here we go. Ultimately, you're not really paying the PI. For guaranteed results. But, but for his time, right? Took you long enough. <coughs> are you the one that left the note? Who are you? The chump had an attitude and a smell to match. They didn't call him Smoking Jojo because he was cute. His circuit boards were on the fry, literally. He was half burnt out, overheating and underperforming. That's so he didn't smooth. like the dame, but he knew me. We went way back, but Jojo's lips were normally sealed tighter than... My name is Rania. I picked him up in the hollows and he says he's looking for a girl called Pashta. Why did you leave the note? As Huxley knows, I normally don't say nothing to nobody. <coughs> but as you can see, I ain't got long left. You could fry an egg on my processor. Can't you get help? Repairs? <coughs> nah, they don't make the parts for an old model like me no more. <laughs> and I ain't got no limbs anyway. Point is, if I want to do some good, I better do it now while I can. Huxley, I know something about this girl you're looking for. I wanted to hear what the old bucket had to say, but how did he know I was looking for Pasta? You've been asking around town. Word gets out. I was playing a private gig a few months back. The pay was real good, and I'm still the best horn player in town. Even if I don't look too good these days, what with all the rust and all. While I was there, <clears throat> I overheard some things. This ex-corp goon called Raguan was there, talking about how he got screwed over. <clears throat> and? Look. I don't like squidding like this. <coughs> Give me a minute. Jojo was singing like a songbird, <laughs> but would we dance to his beat? Huxley, please be quiet for a minute, okay? I can't believe I'm getting sucked into this. So what does this Raguan guy have to do with Pashta? Well, this Raguan guy is drunk, and he's throwing his weight around. Near enough getting into a fight with some waiter who's just trying to serve the champagne. In the middle of mouthing off, Ragohan says he's dangerous and he can make people disappear. He says he's not to be messed with because the last guy that messed with him lost his kids. Then he starts crying. That's strange, but it doesn't link him to Pashta in any way. But he says the name. I was the only one that heard him. But he takes a drink, and through his tears, he keeps saying, Sorry, pasta. Sorry. <coughs> now, ain't that a thing? That's a lead, at least. The trail had gone cold for a while, but with JoJo's help, we picked it up again. Come on, I can try to find where this Raguan lives. I'll ask Camus back in the Hava. After that, though, you're on your own, Huxley. It, it is possible that this pasta just ran away, right? And we will have the choice. Oh, that's gonna be a tough choice. Of... Not telling, but then Huxley... Will be at risk. He is still here? Why is he still here? We are just taking him to be one nice. more place. Why? The dog still didn't trust me. 
I guess it could smell desperation, and I reeked of it. Camus, <laughs> we need to find out the address for an ex-CEO called Raguan. Can you find that somehow? I could. Well, are you going to? Yes, I will do it. Searching. Searching. There was a news story in the Marrow Gazette Holovids three months ago about a CEO called Raguan. What did it say? Midtown's youngest CEO fired for bribing Corpsec without the proper clearance from board of directors. That doesn't help us find him. Sounds like the papers got some info on the crooked CEO. Did the papes get some snaps, though? Did the... you mean photos? Camus, was there a picture of Raguan in the Holovids? Yes. He looked... sad. I'll bet. But was there anything in the background? Searching. There is a building in the photo. Cross-reference with the latest city planning database. I have a match. It is the new apartments in Upper Midtown. I have an address. That sounds like where a CEO would stay. Let's assume the Holovids caught Raguan leaving his apartment. Camus, give us an nav point. I wanted to come here to pick up stuff while the conversation was going. Hey, kid, you busy? No, not at all. Completely free. Good. I, uh, well, I don't have a job for you. I was just wondering if... You know what, Control? Can I get back to you? I'm just picking up another coffee. All right, kid. Uh, all right. Um, I have a job soon, though. No rush, Control. Chat soon. I started to feel like I was holding the dame back. I didn't want to get her in trouble. It's fine. Let's just see what we can find at Raguan's apartment. Yeah, let's go. Well, he did pay me a lot, so. And also, I'm kind of into that. This uh, investigation story, and I like him. <laughs> okay. Um. But I suspect there is a chance that I'm right. And, uh... She didn't get abducted. But she simply left. Let's find the parking spot. Can we? Uh, let's just look at the map. Seems like we gotta find parking. Across the street. And, uh... <laughs> eat the candy. I don't know. I don't think eating more candies has a higher effect. Ooh, we have uh, some tunnels here we can use. I suppose. Where am I? We are here, but... How do I get to the boxes on the right? I'm not supposed to? Not from here, at least. Okay, I'm not overly interested in those boxes. We can just go over... Yeah. Okay, it's gonna work. Wait. This was the place for sure. I was Is it? on my way. Wait, do you want me to? I couldn't ask the dame to do any more. She was a class act. A dime store performer in a city of nickels. A diamond in a waste bucket. Good luck, Huxley. I said goodbye to my new friends. The dame flashed me a smile brighter than the sun. <laughs> Even the dog wished me good luck. No, I didn't. <laughs> Camus, wish him luck. Good luck, I guess. <gasps> B 
Be careful, Huxley. I hope you save Pashta. The dame wished me luck. Luck? Luck was for gamblers and Girl Scouts. Yeah, see you later, folks. <laughs> I like you, Huxley. But also, this feels a little unresolved. I guess Will this is okay? the life of a delivery driver. I don't know, Camus. I have an additional question. Go ahead. What is a Girl Scout? What is a dime? Use Google what it? is a nickel? Should I search for them? Yep. No, it's time to move on, Camus. This is cool because you're not... Many times you just see, hear stories technically from the start to finish, but... Hey, kid. Um, you're free now. we just hear finish smack middle. My sure thing, Control. You got another job for me? Come by Cloudpunk HQ and grab a package. It's uh, it's for Anderson Financial in Anderson Tower, labeled Mr. Anderson. Is it on Anderson Street in Anderson Town? Don't joke, kid. You don't know the half of it. Control out. Pick up some coolant. Oh, that's that's a lift. Patty Green. Hey, oh, cutie. Trader. You wanna buy? Wow, you're selling comfortable blue shirt, a dress, a hip dress for special occasions. I'm not so hip. Let's buy a shirt. Can I? Can I use it? Thanks for this. Anytime, honey. Uh, let's pick up a box and talk to the corpse agent. I just a regular memory card. Not really a bank account number. Okay, we can go around picking up stuff. Corpse sec clerk. We can't talk to that guy. Hmm. Okay. So we're gonna pick up two more boxes and then head toward uh, the Cloud Pug HQ. Electronics. Yeah. We need three more punch cards for Evelyn for that mission to progress. And I suspect that you you gotta make some effort to at least to find these punch cards. But maybe not the crazy am craziest amount of effort. But it would be nice. It would be nice to at least have that. Hopefully it's not gonna be like a completionist uh, mission. Like, oh, then we do this, then we have to like find 20 more punch cards. That'd be like a bit too much, maybe. I don't know how many punch cards there are. But uh, that mission really shouldn't be limited to only those who are willing to find all of them. Anyway guys, this is a good time to uh, take a break, so uh, see you next time folks.